Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Engden. And today what I would like to do is kind of go over what, how to make like a spaceship with a, a rocket and a star field. And just to let me show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to run this quick. And so as you can see we have a spaceship. Our spaceship has a trail of flames and then it's flying within a particle field that looks like stars. So what I'm going to do is show you how I did this. And again, this is uh, this was inspired by Lee Brimlow's Go To and Learn site, and he does something similar, but he doesn't include the star field, and he has a different spaceship. So I'm going to close that. So now the first thing we want to do, as usual, is we want to bring your basically the SWIC file from Citrus Game Engine and put it into our library. And if we right click on it then we want to click and add it to the library. Okay. Now once we've done that we have these two. We have Game AS and Main AS. And so Main AS is our usual starting page for the Starling Game Engine which is located in the Citrus Game Engine. And the Citrus Game Engine has a whole bunch of stuff in it, not just Starling. It has Nape. It has, I believe it has a Way 3D. It has a whole bunch of stuff in it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import our do our imports. And so the first one is the flash display stripe stri sprite. Uh, and then we want to import the Starling core, Starling. We have some Swift data. Okay. And then we have the public class main extends sprite. So we need that. And of course, as always, I will pack this up into a zip file and then put it on my website at learningengineer.com. Then we have the private var star colon starling public function main void star equals new starling game that's obviously referring to this. And then stage, and then we tell our Starling game to start. Very simple. Then we also need a public class. And that's what this is. And what we need to remember is all of these warm imports have to be Starling based. Okay? Otherwise they won't work. So here we have public class game extend sprite. We have our embed. And you're probably wondering how did I make up the particles and so on. Well, if we come to here and we go to, uh, where did I put you? Particle Editor. So onebyonedesign.com flash particle editor is a particle editor that lets us work with particles. And as you can see, this looks much like a flame. What I did is I simply changed like the emitter angle to the 90, okay, and then I basically changed the size so that it was smaller. And what you can do is you can putz around with all of these. Now, one of the things that you can do is if you do this, that's how I got the particle field, the stars coming down. So there's all kinds of variables here that you can play around with. And so I suggest you do that. So once again, it's one by one design.com flash particle editor. So once you've made your particle for your flame and your particles for your star field, what you would want to do is go export particle and then it's going to save it. And like I could save this to my desktop. and save it. And you can see I already have space particle so so I'm just going to replace it. And that's all you need for your particles. Now once you're in Flash Builder this is how you do it. So the PEX file in the zip file is a MIME type application octet stream private var particle XML class. And we do the same thing for the PNG file
and so this is my exhaust flame this is my oops I'm sorry <clears throat> and these are my star field so we have to embed them we make a private var class and then of course we have our rocket so there's my rocket rocket image articles particle designer PS this has changed since Lee Brimlow's uh, article or video on this and then I have a space particles particles designer then we have our public function game and we add an event listener we add it to the stage and we say when it it runs we want to initiate so then we have initiate space particles e equals new particle designer PS XML new particle space particle XML texture from bitmap space particles and then we add it and then we need to start the juggler and I do this first because this is our star field and we want the spaceship to be on top of it then we add our rocket okay then we add our flame out of our rocket and then we tell the it how where to put the particle emitter and so this is the offset 59 and 75 is the offset for our particle emitter then we have the starling juggler and we add the particles and we start it okay finally we have a stage and we add the event to the stage so that when I move my mouse around or I touch it my my rocket ship follows in kind and then this is our on touch function and simply what it's going to do is it's going to follow it so venk get touch rocket x equals touch global x rocket y equals touch dot global y and then the particle emitter follows it wherever it goes and that's all there is to this it isn't much it works quite well. Um, my name is Michael Langdon. This is LearningEngineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency. Have a great day.